Hello, girlfriends, and welcome to another episode of Tried and Tested. Today, we'll be trying out some top rated drugstore makeup under $20. This lipstick from Catrice is made for people with dry lips like me. Formula is supposed to be very smooth, it's hydrating, and it's creamy, and also very long lasting. Oh, that smells nice. Sweet and fruity. Oh, that's very creamy. Oh, this is a beautiful color. It's like uh, a bit mauvey. It's got plum, berry, and a bit of red in there, and also like a bit more on the purple side. The color is so pigmented. Like, there is so much color in this lipstick. It's really beautiful. It's very, very comfortable. As you can see, it's got a slightly glossy sheen, so it makes my lips look full. It's very easy to kind of get a precise application, but what I'm not noticing right is that around my lips it's kind of like almost bleeding a bit it's something that you can only really see up close so if it doesn't bug you then it's not an issue i feel like maybe if you use a lip liner or like if you just clean it up with like concealer or something i think that shouldn't be a problem i would give this a uh, 9 out of 10. this is wet and wild's photo focus foundation and it's said to be a dupe for ysl's fusion ink foundation and it's supposed to also have a light adjusting complex inside so that it prevents a white cast when you take photos i want to say first that this is probably not my colour. I'm currently wearing YSL's All Hours Foundation mixed together with Marc Jacobs Shameless Foundation. I am going to remove makeup on this side and try on the Wet n Wild Foundation and then we'll just see how it looks. It's kind of the same as the YSL foundation in that there's an applicator like this. Wow, that texture is so fluid. It is definitely the wrong colour, but it's okay, we're going to ignore that and just focus on the foundation. When I first put it on, wow, it was like so liquidy. It was really easy to blend. So we took some photos with flash on both sides and the verdict there is that no white cast on either side. The one with the wet and wild foundation definitely looks fairer but that's because it's the wrong shade. But the one thing that I did notice about the wet and wild foundation was that it's actually really quite patchy. I think I would give this a uh, 5 out of 10 because like, I guess it covers stuff. You don't get the white cast but it's not a very forgiving foundation. This is the LB Smudge Gel Eyeliner in Jet Black. LB Cosmetic is from Tokyo and they are a brand that is known for their eyeliners. So this is a gel eyeliner that supposedly applies like a liquid eyeliner and is supposed to be sweatproof, waterproof, tearproof and sebum proof making a beautiful line that lasts until evening without smudging or wearing off. Pretty basic packaging and it feels really light. It looks like a regular eye pencil. The application on this is really incredibly smooth, like very, 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 very smooth. It almost feels a bit oily. It says jet black, but I actually didn't think that the colour was very, very black. So I had to go over a couple of times to make sure that it became the black that I wanted it to be. We'll leave it on for the rest of the episode and see how it does in terms of like the smudging and the sebum. It's been like a couple of hours now and my eyeliner has not smudged at all. Even like the area slightly around it, it feels like it's holding quite well. I tried it on just now and look, wow, completely not budging at all. I think I would give this a 9 out of 10 because it holds really well and applies very smoothly. The only thing is that it's not jet black as it claims to be. Earlier on in the Cult Favorite Beauty Products episode, we tried NAS Orgasm and this is the Milani Baked Blush in Dolce Pink and it's supposed to be one of the dupes for NAS Orgasm. The colour is super pretty, like a pretty bright pink with lots of like gold flecks in it. Colour payoff is not bad. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, it applies so nicely. Maybe slightly powdery but very minimal and um, I love the gold flakes in it. The way it catches light is so pretty. So I would give this like a 9 out of 10. And since I have the NAS orgasm with me, let's just try it out and see how it looks. I feel like the Milani one, it feels like it's a warmer tone. Now if you look at the NAS one, I feel like the pink kind of comes across as cool tone, but then you've got the gold that gives it a slightly warmer feel. So you have a mixture of like cool and warm, which is why I think it's such a beautiful universal colour. Whereas this Milani one would be, I feel, more decidedly on the warm side. I do still think that the Milani one is a beautiful blush. This is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder from Wet n Wild and this is a holy grail makeup product for lots of makeup fans and they come with a whole range of colours but most people recommend it, Precious Petals. 
it's so buttery. Oh, that applies so smoothly. It is a beautiful highlighter. It's truly gorgeous. It looks really refined and like the texture is so silky that it blends right into the skin. Wow. This is so good. The highlighting strength is strong. I feel like when I use my finger to apply, it comes off a little bit patchy, so I'm gonna try it with a brush. Yes, mommy. It's got just the right amount of like champagne in here. It's a really, really refined powder, especially at this price point. I think it, it applies so beautifully and it catches like really nicely. It seems like quite a universal shade as well because it's got a mix of like cool and warm. We got this for $11. I think that is insane. It is so good. I would give this like a, a 10 out of 10. It's like precious, it's precious out of 10. This is Palladio Press Rice Paper and it is an oil absorbing blotting tissue with rice powder. I love the packaging by the way. A lot of the old school cosmetics used to have a woman like that on the packaging. <laughs> it says it's super sized, so it's a pretty big piece of paper. It actually looks a bit like old jotter books we used to have like the brown colour cover. It smells like quite slightly flowery and fragrant. So one side is your regular blotting paper and on the other side you have your powder for touching up. And the unique thing about this is that it's made from rice. So as you can see my nose here is quite shiny. I'm gonna try blot it. This powder really does take away the shine. It doesn't leave big powdery finish behind. So the blotting paper is slightly stiff. It does feel like you're kind of taking paper and like pressing it on your face, which is a bit strange. I think it's uh, interesting because it does feel a little bit rough on the skin. Just because it's like paper, it's like literally blotting paper. I would give this a 7.5 out of 10. The thing with the powder is they only come with like three shades, but like the powder is really effective in taking off the shine. Okay, we've come to the end of the episode. If you want to find out more about the products, they're on the Tried and Tested Facebook page, or you can just check out the links in the description box down below. If you've already subscribed to our YouTube channel, very good, top rated. And now you just need to hit that bell and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out to YouTube. And then, go stars! Or you can just download our quick network app and you'll be able to watch the videos before they come out onto YouTube. More gold stars! Alright, till next time. Go be beautiful!